Hello everyone, welcome back to Bead Speak. Listen to that. You hear the music, we are there. We have hit the season of Advent and this week we are looking at Advent Hope. It's a time to prepare, it's a time to look forward and it's a time to trust that something amazing is coming. And that music just makes me really cheerful. It makes me look forward to what's going to happen over the next few weeks. So today we're going to look at what is Advent. We're going to specifically focus on the first theme of Advent, which is hope. And of course, we're looking at the season that leads us into Christmas, where we take time to reflect, we take time to prepare, and we await with hope for the birth of Jesus. It's like counting down to something incredible, and it's not just presents, but it's that countdown to the hope and the joy that Jesus brings to the world. So let's welcome his presence into our worship now as we make the sign of the cross together. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And I invite you to join me in opening prayer. Loving God, as we journey through this Advent season, help us to embrace hope in our hearts. Remind us that even in challenging times, your love and promise of a better tomorrow are always with us. Guide us to be lights of hope for others and to prepare our hearts for the joy of Christmas. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. When we think about Advent hope, there's a specific piece of scripture that we often use and I'm going to share that scripture with you now. The scripture comes from the Old Testament. It comes from the prophet Isaiah and he lived hundreds of years before Jesus was born but he shared a message and that's a message of hope about a saviour who was to come. So this is a reading from the prophet Isaiah. The people walking in darkness have seen a great light. On those living in the land of deep darkness a light has dawned. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. So what does that mean for you? Whether, like me, you believe in God, whether you're not sure yet, whether you just want to know more. Well, Advent Hope, very simply, is about believing that things can and that things will get better. Think about it. Have you ever had a really tough day, but then somebody smiled at you, said something kind, someone just sat with you? That's a little bit of light in the darkness that's hope. And for Christmas, especially this first week of Advent, Advent reminds us to trust God's promises. Advent reminds us to trust that God's promises are real and that Jesus is coming to bring joy and peace to us all. And even if you're not sure about faith, hope is still powerful. It's what keeps you trying. It's what keeps you dreaming. It's what keeps us all caring for one another. So this Advent, I'm going to ask you to look around you. Use your eyes and look. Is there someone who needs a little bit of extra hope? Maybe it's a friend who's struggling. And Advent hope reminds us that even when things seem tough, the light's coming. You are part of that light when you choose kindness, when you choose forgiveness, and when you choose love. Let us bring our prayers to God, trusting in his hope. For the church, that it may be a beacon of hope and light to all, especially during Advent. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For those who are struggling, those who feel lost, alone or in darkness, that they may find hope and comfort. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For our school community, that we may support one another and spread hope in all we do. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For our families and friends, that this Advent may be a time of joy, peace and togetherness. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And for all watching this video together, that we may carry hope into the world this week. Lord, in your mercy, 
hear our prayer. So, here's your mission for the week. Can you be the light of Advent hope for somebody else? Maybe it's sharing a kind word, maybe it's helping at home. These are the same sorts of missions I give you every week. Maybe it's being patient when things don't go your way. Small actions of hope make a big difference. And remember, that hope's contagious. The more you share it, the brighter our darkness becomes. And let's end our time together today by making the sign of the cross together. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for joining me on Beads Beat. Have an amazing week. And don't forget, live out Advent hope every day this week. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.